Hello and welcome to YouTube channel GameBits. This is Ken Getty with the Let's Play of Pixa for the iOS. I heard about this game from my friend Dave Ross, who is C64 on Twitter, and it looks heavily inspired by Adventure, for the original Atari 2600, which was one of my first games ever. So I'm a huge fan of it. So I certainly want to see what any game inspired by it is like. Now let's see, this kind of starts off like Chrono Trigger, where you're in your bedroom. I can't get back into bed, but I am a little square. It's hip to be a square, so let's go into the next room, one room at a time. Warren, it's about time you dragged your lazy bones out of bed. Now fetch me my reading glasses. I think I left them in the trophy room. I have no idea where that is. Go find my glasses. I do love that my name is Warren, though, heavily inspired by Warren Robinett, who was the creator of the original inventor and the inventor of the Easter egg. He created Adventure and with it the first Easter egg. Okay, I'm thinking this is in the trophy room. Maybe it is, but let's go check somewhere else. Oh, that's not a room that I can go in. Neither is that. Oh, so I guess I have to go the way I was going. So I'm just swiping, 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 no tapping, just swiping away. Checking out my rooms. Oh, and there they are. Yep, I was on the right track. I just go near it and I touch it and I pick it up. Love that sound effect. I'm staggering a little drunkenly, because I'm just not a very clear swiper. There they are. Took you long enough. Now just drop them anywhere. Tap anywhere to drop. That's it. Much better. I guess you are good for something. Thanks, Mom. Something pathetic. Now, wow, get outside and play or do whatever it is you do. Is this my mother? Because she's really mean. I don't like her whatsoever. Whoa, so that was my house. And that's a Twitter icon. I really don't want to tweet, though. But thanks for trying to, you know, get me to shill your game. Something Warren Robinette would never do. World 1, Gold Heath. Through the portal, find a trophy, and bring it back to the trophy room. Sure. I can't move. Now I can move. Oh, wait. What is that? No, drop that. Got money. Alright, World 1 is pretty easy. Gotta catch them all. I can't tell you which is the thing and which is the person. Warren, speak to me. Are you that lovely flashing thing or the boring square? Wow, somebody really knows their child well. Whoa. That was really exciting. Back again so soon? And it was just getting interesting around here. Okay, are you just gonna constantly harangue me? Gotta love this emotionally abusive family I'm in. Notice how the rooms are kind of rounded around the edges. Like you're playing on an old CRT. I love it. You see that beautiful pixel back there? That's my daughter. Now you keep your eyes and everything else off her. I think she likes me, sir. Can't go in your house. Alright. What is that icon in the back? Can't quite read it. Whoa. Water? This reminds me of Zelda, the way I'm just exploring the world and discovering all this new terrain. Uh-oh, repeating. Is this like the Lost Woods? Is it the Lost Ocean? If I just go up once? Notice that the waves aren't changing, so this doesn't really imply different rooms to me. Just go up once and I'm, yep, back where I was. And same thing here. So, where am I supposed to go, then? Back down here? World 2, Fiendmore. Magnets can be useful for gaining things that are stuck or far away. No dragons yet, or ducks. Whoa. That's a key and a coin. Okay, those are not like clouds that I can go into, those are rocks. Find a penny. Okay, so my key opened that door, so I'm going to put my key down so I can pick up other things now. Whoa! That, so I did find a dragon. And it almost ate me. There's a brief moment when it opens its mouth when you can still get away. I don't want to find out what happens if it eats me, so I'm just going to keep running. Ah, I should have locked the door behind me. Is he going to chase me? I'm not going to find out. Ah, I hate being chased. It's like everybody's worst 
dream. Okay, finish Fiend more. What do, I wonder what I'll have to do to earn the woman's love. Is that thing singing? No, it's it's a necklace. What are you talking about? Blam! I have had so much promise when you were young. Before you have children. This is like Braid. How everything, every level reveals a little bit more about the character. The Electric Toy Company. That's what that says. My daughter was talking about you yesterday. Yes, sir. I'm off to World 3. And not back to the ocean. Fireheim. Lost, trapped, eaten, just reset the world. Attempting promise. Can't go in there without the white key, so I need to go find that. That's a sword or a grave? Hmm. I'm starting to think that I should be mapping this. Whoa! Ah. This is challenging when my finger is blocking the screen. Whoops. Why did I drop my key? No! Don't eat me. So I think when it's trying to eat me is my opportunity to, like, get away. Whoa! How did you get there? So I still... Whoa! Hey! Where'd my crown go? But I haven't finished exploring this world. And once I return the crown to the trophy room, doesn't the whole world just go away? Ah! What the... Okay, I got a little lost there. That dragon is freaking me out. It's a crown, mother. Something you would wear, right? Blammo. Warren, look at this! I've opened up the training room for you. Maybe if you work hard like your father did, you might make something of yourself. And what happened to him? Eventually, maybe, possibly. Try out the training room. Shouldn't this be like the first thing I did? How many? I have ten coins. So I can buy the green thing for five? What is that? Speed. So I can get away from the dragon faster. 25 coins for the next speed upgrade. It won't even tell me what that is. And that's combat. I guess that's armor. I suppose you think that you're... That some other mother would love you better. Which is just the sort of stupid opinion that makes you so contemptible. So if I stop touching the screen, my character keeps moving for a little bit, but eventually stops. Let's go see what old man Smithers has to say about me now. Now that I'm swift. Oh, it's you. Uh, what's your name again? That's it? Thanks. Mr. Born, after you've reset a world, the gates you've opened with something. How do I reset a world? But just by going back in here? Yeah. Can I see difficult? Use your train room to upgrade your sword. I have a sword? How do I do that? Okay, so resetting the world just means exiting and then coming back. There is my sword. That's right, I almost forgot that you can kill the dragons. This isn't like Silent Hill where you just have to avoid them. Some Silent Hills. Silent Hill Shattered Memories? For the Wii? Which is one of my favorite Silent Hills. Scariest game I've ever played. As an adult, anyway. A lot of games were really scary as a kid. Okay, can only carry one item at a time, so I probably should have left that sword by the castle, because I'll bet you there's a dragon in there. I wonder what upgrading my sword does. I mean, usually the ability to kill an enemy is binary in the original adventure. Yeah, I want my sword. I think it's actually possible to lock the key in the castle, or it was in the original adventure, and then you're really stuck. But apparently you can just reset the world. Are right, gonna kill me some dragons? And the dragon is... where? Big castle. 
Oh, a castle in a castle. Did, did that happen in the original adventure? I don't remember. Put my sword down there. And the game center keeps telling me to collect five pennies, but I sure have done that. Also the soundtrack. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The original adventure certainly did not have a soundtrack. There. Drop that there. Go get this. I mean, I like the soundtrack. I just don't know if I like that there is a soundtrack. What is that? Another trophy for the trophy room. It's an invisible dot. That was a thing. Oh, drop my dot. Well, there it is. Ha! Can't follow me now, dragon. Your world is gone. Mother's gonna say something about this useless dot. A look what the cat dragged in. Yep. I'm a kitty. Alright, should I keep playing? I think I'll finish this... These four trophies. I'll finish this trophy room. Is, is it really a surprise? You, you thought I would be in prison? You were a difficult baby. Ooh, zing! Well, let's see who puts you in the retirement home when you turn 65. Something's wrong with a man that can't be true to himself. Every room you go into, you change into a different color. I didn't even notice that. Blue. Green. Green. Purple. Crumble home. Magnets again. Who even knows how they work? Whoa. Just walk into the sword, will ya? I don't understand. Quicker slashes? I don't understand the correlation between what I'm doing and that meter. I really don't understand what just happened. Does anybody know how this works? It keeps saying quicker, but I don't know how much quicker it can get. I'm definitely not killing this thing like I want to be. Am I trying to get it when it's in the middle? Too early. Quicker slashes. I'm sorry, guys. This is a horrible let's play. I, I just don't understand. All I'm doing is di pushing the dragon away a little bit. I'm going to leave my sword there so that when I get the black key, I can just pick up this sword on the way to the castle. Whoa, what the thing is that? At least I know that's a dead end. Got a penny. Not like Inspector Gadget's niece. It's a real penny. Should I even bother getting my sword since I have no idea how to use it? Alright, two different rooms to go in. I just missed a penny. And there's a red key. Another penny. Whoa! That shouldn't happen. Alright, there's the red castle. What happens if I go over here? Dead end. Oh no, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! There. Unstuck. And whatever this trophy is, I will take it and run.
Nope. Why do I drop my trophies? I don't understand why that happens. Ma, ma. Where'd you find that? A cow pasture? Nope, I went to another world. Okay, three more to go. I feel like I've been sitting here for years. I feel like you've been haranguing me for years. 18. I need 20 to upgrade my sword. Your father built that trophy room believing that you would someday fill it with treasures. He was an idiot in a lot of ways. Yeah, he married you. Oh, it's... Yeah, I've heard you say that already. Raven March. I love these level names. Whoa. I seem to be moving really fast all of a sudden. And it is kind of sudden, given that I upgraded myself a while ago. Now, what does this little doohickey that I bought do for me? And what does this enemy try and do to me? Whoa. Ah. Oh, am I small when I'm holding on to it? Is that what's going on? Does it shrink me? Yes. That's exactly what happens. I couldn't see underneath my finger. There's a key. And a sword. Well, since I don't know how to use the sword, I guess I'm just going to play on the expert setting and not kill anything. Pacifist mode? Gotta put my key down and pick it up from a different angle. Gotta get around this thing. Eh. Really? The castle in the castle is right there? The chalice with the... in the palace? And the vessel with the pestle? Well, of course I want to keep exploring, even if I have the key I need. What is the point of all this? Okay. This is... Am I stuck now? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, now I am getting lost. I forgot what way I came from. Eh. There may have been some, uh... Non-Euclidean geometry back there. I'm just gonna ignore it. And keep... Whoa! Exploring. I'll leave that penny for another adventurer to collect. Oh, crap! How do I... I'm gonna need the little dot to be small, but then I need to... How do I... Poop. There. I gotta put it through the wall. Is this where I'm going? Yes. If your father knew what you were shoving into his trophy cases, he'd weep, weep and die. Fortunately, he's already dead. Well, given that he never put anything in there, I think I'm doing pretty darn well. Onto something. I knew you wouldn't. Why is she so mean to me? Hmm, two more coins, I can get whatever that is. I'm kind of curious to know what it is. You stay away from the beach. If anyone's unlucky enough to get swept away and drown, it's you. Does that mean I should go to the beach? Oh, it's kind of beachy sounding. Your ma'am is a mighty fine woman. Mighty fine. Well, if you marry her, then that girl pixel becomes my stepsister, and that's not cool. Thumb mark. I haven't even died yet, so I don't even know what that looks like. Ah. See, now I seem to be moving slowly again. It's like each world has its own velocity. Ooh. This is not quite so linear. Great. A weapon I don't know how to use, because nobody ever taught me. I can just draw if I want. Does that do anything for me? Whew. 
quicker. How could it be any faster? Still didn't kill it. Oh, is that a little pause button? No. I never even noticed that before. Interesting. Whoa, get away, get away. Man, there are a lot of rooms now that I'm starting to lose track of. I wonder if you get experience for killing things. Crap. See, that thing can only eat me from one direction, so I knew if I got around him. Whoa, magnet. Whoa, darkness. So why would I keep exploring when I already found the trophy? Well, there doesn't seem to be anything in this graveyard. Whoa, poop, 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 poop. Let's uh, lure him over here. And then quickly get away. Grab my thingy. And run! I think I just skipped most of that world. Oh. Ha! Someday. Okay, one more trophy. I wonder if there are multiple trophies per world that I'm just settling. Do I have enough to get that other thing now? Yeah, what is it? Space. What does that mean? I thought about painting the house, but what's the point? So what does space do? Is this like the uh, personality core in Portal? Space! Yeah, I'd like to put her in a trophy case. Wait, that's not very feminist of me. And she's also a pixel, so not really a person. The Isle of Quiverheim. Okay. Wasn't that the last level in the Act Razor? Now, what does that little icon down there do? I, when I tap it, nothing happens. Oh, so you're just training me to be in the dark more often. Nothing north, nothing west. This game could be a text adventure. Dang, that's a fast moving thing. I'm pretty swift myself. Whew. Okay, got a magnet. Don't know that I need it. And is that a shrinky? No, that's a. Those are just the magnet poles. What is that? Is that a map? It is a map. What are, what do AA and BB mean? Oh. Like they loop around? Wish I could take the map with me. So do I have to... Is it different if I go like this? Nope. I thought this place was so non-Euclidean that it couldn't be mapped. Interesting. Yeah, green dragon, green key... Green castle. It's not easy being green. Whoop, drop my trophy. Drop my trophy again. I wonder if this is just me in the act of swiping. I'm just... Oh! Now how come in the lower left it now says green key? What is that supposed to represent? Am I, like, holding something? Is that, like, a bag of holding? Anybody remember where I came from? Here I go. Let me see if I can tap that little icon now. Oh. Oh, that's what that's what the power-up I got. Space was. Space to hold something. Nice little trinket there. Okay, and that completes this half, maybe? of Pika, and that's where I'm going to call it quits, so thank you very much for watching this Let's Play. It's a kind of a cute game. I think I paid a dollar for it or so, and I've already gotten my money's worth because you just saw me play it for 24 minutes for a dollar. That's pretty good. So if you want to check out this Atari 2600 themed adventure game, 
with very simple controls except for the sword fighting which are beyond recognition, then dive on in. I'll leave a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.